teaming up with Sweet Charts to follow my chart and show you how to create your very own amazing customized denim vest. It's gonna be awesome. As you know, I've made my own very special vests in the past and I have to say they are such a statement piece. They make you feel about mm, a thousand times more unique and powerful, so it's a pretty good thing to have in your wardrobe. And why not make one yourself? Here are the materials that you're gonna need today. To start, we need, of course, a denim jacket. Try to find one in your size or maybe slightly bigger so that you can layer a sweater underneath. I like heavy denim for this so that it can hold up to the bleaching process, as well as just making your finished product more sturdy. You'll need a pair of scissors. I'm partial to my fabric scissors for these types of projects. They're super sharp. You'll need liquid bleach, unless your denim jacket is already white. Today we're going to be using RIT liquid fabric dye, but honestly, whatever fabric dye that you choose is fine. Very necessary for this project, rubber gloves. No stained fingers, please. You're also going to need a liquid safe plastic container big enough to fit your vest easily. I grabbed mine from the dollar store. Now for your optional materials. Basically anything you'd like to decorate your vest with, and that's completely up to you. I'm going to be using some metal studs and leather working tools to attach them, some white cotton to cut out into letters, fabric glue to help adhere them, and a sewing machine to do the satin stitch around the edges to keep the letters in place. It wouldn't be an ALB DIY without a little sparkle, so I'm going to use sequins and these fun fabric patches that I found at Michael's. So step one is to cut the arms off of the denim jacket, following along the shoulder seam. You also want to be sure to remove all tags or washing instructions that might be on the inside of the vest. Wearing rubber gloves, fill your large liquid safe container with liquid bleach. Very carefully lower the denim vest into the container and gently stir the vest to make sure all the parts are soaked and covered. I like to keep rags and paper towels nearby when using dye and liquid bleach just in case I have a spill. Bleach and dye are not forgiving, and they will ruin clothes and carpet. Keep an eye on the color change and continue stirring for about 10-15 to 15 minutes. Once all the color has been bleached from the vest, carefully remove it from the container and rinse all the bleach out in the sink with water. The next step is to wash your vest, using a washing machine if you want. I always do because all of the bleach has to be completely removed from the vest for the next step to be effective. Following the directions on your package of fabric dye, dye your vest with whichever color you choose. Instructions vary from dye to dye, and for our tutorial we will be doing an ombre dip dye in Sweet Tarts inspired colors pink and blue. If you're doing multiple colors on your vest, be sure to thoroughly rinse and wash it between each color. Otherwise, you're going to have some color transfer and it'll look a little bit muddy. After dyeing your vest following the fabric dye instructions, wash and dry the vest again to ensure no dye transfer. And now it's the most fun part! It's time to customize! This is the time to be creative and I think that's why I love it so much. For our vest we're going to be using sequins, fabric glue, and using a sewing machine to embroider lettering on the back. If you want, fabric paint markers can also be used to write words easily.
checking out this tutorial. I hope that you give it a try and make your own vest. If you do make your own, please share a photo on social media. I really want to see it. Check out more Sweet Tarts fun and creativity at sweetheartscandy.ca. See you soon. Bye for now.